hey family welcome once again if you're new if this is your first time welcome my name is Shanta Lekabe and always I come to you with the word of the Lord and also we do prophetic words and prayers here on this channel so today um, I want to share with us something that has always been on my spirit and um, I've been postponing it for a long time now I feel like today is the perfect day to share with us this um, message so it has to do with how you can spend time with the Lord how to spend time with the Lord lord i'm gonna be giving you about three ways that you can spend time with him you know um spend quality time with him sometimes we really want to spend time with the lord but because of a lot going on we are not able to because of our activities because we are so busy we are not able to do that but in the midst of your activities how can you still squeeze out some time and spend with the lord and also i want you to know how important it is to spend time with the lord when you spend time with him it causes you to grow eventually and also it causes your relationship with him to become solidified strengthened hallelujah it empowers your spiritual life so spending time with god is really important as i'll be discussing these ways with us i'll equally be discussing the importance of doing what you are, you are about to do right now this is really really going to bless us especially as the new year is coming um i pray that a lot of us plan in as much as we plan for every other thing in our lives i pray that we do plan also to spend time with the lord and we are deliberate about spending time with him so one of the first ways that i want you to know um that can you know help your relationship with god to become stronger one of the first ways you can spend time with the lord is by waking up early in the morning waking up early in the morning you know some of us we do wake up late and then we are not able to spend time with him and we wake up late because we go to bed late the, there's a secret um you know when it comes to spending time with the lord and spending quality time with him the secret is waking up early in the morning and if you have to wake up early in the morning it means you have to sleep not so late not so late some of us we sleep late but not so late hallelujah waking up early in the morning really helps you to spend time with the lord um for example if you wake up at 5 a.m in the morning it gives you enough time to be able to spend with the lord before you can carry out your activities of the day sometimes when we wake up the first thing we think about is you know the things we have to do instead of thinking about spending time with god wake up at five and when you wake up at that five, have your devotion. In your moment of um, devotion, while you're having your devotion, what you can do is you set your goals, right? Set your goals for that day. Set your goals for that morning. You can tell yourself, this morning, by the grace of God, when I'm waking up or after I wake up in the morning, I'm going to study the word of the Lord. I'm going to be meditating on the word of the Lord. I will be meditating on this particular scripture. And meditating on the word of the Lord is so powerful. Meditating on God's word is so powerful when you wake up every morning meditate on the word of the lord read at least a chapter i don't want to say reverse because sometimes when we read a verse we are not able to understand the, the the complete meaning of what the verse is talking about so chapter brings out context most of the times it brings out it's like a context right so it brings out the full meaning so i want us by the help of the holy spirit to wake up in the morning and be able to study at least a chapter meditate on that chapter meditate on what you have studied that morning the word of God is life is so powerful without this word your life will not have life there will be no life during the day for you your activities will not receive life when you start by waking up and meditating on this word it brings life on the inside of you it brings life and it gives life to your day it gives light to your day also the word of the Lord is light it's a lamp unto our feet hallelujah a light unto our part the word of God is so powerful it's so deep it's so rich Joshua 1 and verse 8 it says we should meditate upon this word so that we may make our way prosperous 
meditate on it observe to do what is written therein so that you can make your way prosperous a day a way to make your way prosperous in a particular day is by starting with the word of the lord meditate on the word let your bible be very close to you as you go to bed so that when you wake up you're going to pick it easily you're going to grab it easily without stressing without feeling weak without feeling lazy without feeling tired let it be by you wake up grab the bible open the scripture sorry open a, a chapter meditate on it it's very powerful if you do this consistently you will see you're going to be surprised at how your life will change the transformation that is going to come into your life you know knowledge is powerful in every area of your life where you have knowledge there is power in that area and there is authority there is dominion in that area wherever you have knowledge god gives you dominion wherever there is knowledge there is power Please meditate on the word and then you pray after meditating on the word of the Lord you pray pray you can pray on what you have meditated on you can pray on what came to your spirit you can pray on the dream you had last night you can pray for your day whatever it is the spirit of the Lord lays on your heart pray concerning that thing very very important please don't neglect it please this is really powerful and i always tell you there is power in consistency when you start doing it continue doing it you know the secret is always to start when you start the grace is going to come upon you so strong to keep doing it and you will continue doing it and eventually it's going to become a part of you because you've been doing it you've been doing it so it's going to become a part of you and it's going to be easy for you to, to, to spend time with the Lord hallelujah that is the first thing to do now secondly while you go about your activities this point is very important because a lot of us don't know how to squeeze out time in the midst of our activities or while you're walking to, to, to spend time with the Lord so what I do is why I carry out my activities especially in the morning if I'm going to the kitchen to make breakfast for the children or for the family I can put out like put on like my earpiece i put it on my ears and i begin to listen to a sermon or a worship music it helps it blesses us you know there's gonna be a revelation that you will get from listening to a sermon or if you're listening to a worship sound it's gonna bless your spirit it's gonna cause your spirit to be elevated hallelujah it's very powerful now i always say that if you are too busy to be able to listen to a sermon while you are working some of us can go to the kitchen and prepare breakfast some of us can go jogging if you're too busy or your mind is too occupied to be able to listen to a sermon put on a worship sound put on a worship sound some of us may prepare to go to work put a worship sound in your car i bet you it will make the difference worship has a way of beautifying the atmosphere because it brings down the presence the manifest presence of the father and so when that presence comes it beautifies your atmosphere it causes the rest of your day to be beautiful hallelujah the bible says that the peace there's a peace that the lord gives to us that the world cannot give to us and this peace surpasses every understanding even men cannot understand that peace because it's so powerful and most of the times this peace comes by you listening to a worship sound and worshiping the lord also when you are in the place of worship hallelujah and also when you are in the presence of the lord spending time with the lord so whatever you do try to squeeze time use your earpiece put it on your ear this is just a tip and it's going to bless you it's going to help you also um this is also very important always plan for everything plan to spend time with the lord be deliberate about it you know um what i meant to say even is plan be deliberate when it comes to spending time with the lord you know in as much as you plan to go to work you plan to do groceries you plan to clean the house plan to spend time with the Lord when you plan it it's powerful when you plan it it helps when you plan it it makes it easier planning is a good way to prepare planning is a good way to prepare hallelujah so plan it and be deliberate about it and in the morning if you find it hard to wake up set an alarm that's a tip set an alarm 
set an alarm so that it can wake you up you know when it when you set an alarm one two three times your body is gonna become used to your mind is gonna get used to and when that time reach when you go to bed when the time reach for you to wake up and spend time with the Lord automatically you're gonna be up hallelujah and lastly I don't want to be so long um you spend time with the Lord at night spend time with him at night before you go to sleep this is important because it helps you to get a good night rest it helps you to sleep calmly it helps you to have this peace in your spirit before sleeping and some of us we have a, a lot of attacks in our dreams when we go to bed when you're sleeping there are so many attacks a way to overcome this most of the times is by spending time with the lord before going to to, to bed you know plan it spend time with the lord before you sleep pray pray before you sleep it helps you to spend few minutes at least few minutes with the lord you know when you don't plan these things you're not going to be able to do it tell yourself before i go to bed i must pray and you will find yourself praying hallelujah and then let me just add these few tips before i end um when you are studying the word of god always have like a notebook by you to be able to write down whatever it is the lord gives to you you know when you wake up in the morning early in the morning there is always this freshness your mind is renewed you know you, you that you just woke up and everything is still new and you are you're getting ready to start your day that is the highest time you can receive like a revelation a word of inspiration a word from the Lord because your mind is cleared and at that time your reception is so high it's so high the Holy Spirit can speak to you and he can also speak to you through the word of the Lord so have like a notebook so you can write down whatever it is that the Holy Spirit tells you and then also this is another tip that I want to add again when you um when you have some time you know in as much as we do plan for vacation sometimes we take our time from our job and we plan for vacations we go on a vacation just to rest plan for a retreat plan for a retreat right plan for a retreat it helps a whole lot you mustn't go out of the state or out of your city or out of the country you can be at home and still spend time with the lord if you are able to have a retreat at home have it shut everything shut everything shut down maybe your phone even for a day it helps believe me these things they do make a difference in our lives that is how you are empowered that is how you grow closer to the father hallelujah when you spend time with him there is a change there is a difference when you make those sacrifices there are times god will speak to us but we don't get to see a difference in our lives because we are not able to listen and heed to what he has spoken to us what he has told us and so a way to be able to listen um to the voice of the lord very well you know clearly and be able to heed to the instructions that he gives to us in order to access our breakthroughs our blessings and our miracles is by spending time with him quietly quietly and you do that by having a retreat plan for a retreat and don't forget about fasting also fasting Never go a month without fasting. Please, please make it a habit. I'm not going to stay a whole month without fasting. Fasting is very powerful. I don't even, I'm going to make a video also on the benefits of fasting. The benefits of having a retreat because these things, we have to really exploit them. Hallelujah, they are very important. Make sure you do all of these things. It's really going to help you spend a lot of time with the Lord and grow your prayer life, grow your, your word life, and eventually grow your spiritual life. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you were blessed by this, please don't forget to like it and share with another person. It can also be a blessing to them. Also go on and subscribe if you're new. Join the family. And as you do that, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Love you. And I hope to see you again shortly by the special grace of God.